this morning on First Take about Tony Romo and whatever it was. But this point was made by Stephen A. He said, you know what? Tony Romo would never want to be on the New York Jets. Set aside the fact that it's a team that's in decline. Set aside Mm -hmm. it has no offensive line. The media market in New York, that's just too tough. And it got me thinking, as a guy who played for the Dallas Cowboys, is the Dallas media, and for that matter, I think it has to be asked, is the national media, because the Dallas Cowboys are a national team, soft on you and your playing career? Uh, no, not at all. I, I think it's probably the one of the most stringent, you know, media coverages you'll have in in any sport, especially being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I, I could probably get away with it. I probably don't. I, I won't get the scrutiny that the 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 quarterback with the Dallas Cowboys would get. But when you're on that mantle with with that organization, which we call America's team, you're going to get criticized every which way. And I think it's obvious with what. Tony Romo has gone through his entire career, whether it be, you know, winning games or losing games. He's always been the, the, the criticism has been flying his way regardless. I don't think I don't know if there's another quarterback in this league that's been critiqued as much as Tony Romo on the national stage. Maybe in there. Listen, in New York. Yeah, you might you may get Eli Manning who will get some shots his way or the New York Jets quarterbacks in that market. But nationally, no one's been criticized more than the Cowboys quarterback, and especially Tony Romo over the past 13 years. So why would-